All right, all right, we're back. We've got one final person to investigate. Cedric. Let's see if we can finally get some goddamn answers. He's the only one that I've technically spoke to in this DLC who doesn't seem like halfway crazy or stupid. Okay, there we go, finally. Oh, this is where he was. I don't know what to make of Sublight Underground. Or Slug, I guess. I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. You. You got an appointment? Don't need one. What, can, why can I not? There we go. Appointment? Excuse me, bitch. Then get. No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. No, 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 no. They don't pay me to be friendly. They pay me to keep hooligans out of Mr. Kincannon's hair. Charm, come on. Do I really look like a hooligan? Uh, there's no trouble for me. Uh, I'm not the type. I'd say so. That said, it's possible Mr. Kincannon might enjoy talking to someone as personable as yourself. We'll see what he says. Right. Mr. Kincannon, got a person of interest here to see you. Think they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send her up. Thank you. I could have just walked right past her. <laughs> Thanks, Obsidian. Cedric! Why, if it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Basically. Uh, later, first I want an explanation on the nonsense outside. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Uh... Oh, yeah, the slug agents, the who weren't actually slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. Yeah, but what, what, the, what was the point in that? In short, Slug has not sent anyone to rough you up, Inspector. That would be acting against our own self-interest. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Uh, clearly, whoever uh, is behind this wants me to pit me against Slug. Somebody out there is trying to smear your good name. Well, to smear my name, anyway. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Press X to doubt. No, it was actually, it was actually pretty stupid. They were clearly not Slug agents, because they didn't even know what they were talking about. Um, presumably Ludovico more than anyone. Yeah, he, he does have it out for him. Uh, gosh, it could possibly be the administrator. How dumb do you think I am? Uh, if you have a theory, spit it out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou, you see? I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you. Nor is it likely they assign themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Yes, please. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. Well, okay. That was a messy <laughs> one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? I mean, I, thank you for being honest. Uh, when you say break, is he dead? His spine, specifically. Oh, shit. If you'd like to know the exact vertebrae, I'm afraid I don't know. I can tell you he's quite dead. Not that it matters much. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. Then how am I supposed to uh, 
supposed to trust anything you say. So your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Uh, so Helen's death was a net loss for Slug. I'm sure, uh, I'm not sure yet, but if you have motive, I'm going to uncover it. But you make a killing selling funeral tickets. Oh my god. <laughs> Why, Inspector, that's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. This is I'd true. offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Which is? Uh, anything I should look into? I take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo then? Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Okay, so, uh... What's the connection to Helen's murder? What's specifically gone? Uh, I'll take the case. This all seems outside the scope of Helen's death. Uh, your inability to lock down your cargo is, a concern, is of no concern of mine. I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I guess I can't guarantee the theft isn't uh, related to the murder. I mean, you can't, but uh, really dumb luck. Uh, dumb luck's done a lot for me. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's clearly a fool's errand arguing with you. <laughs> Do tell Ludovico when you get a chance, please. It's astonishing how long it's taking him to have that same epiphany. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> okay, I'll say this once. Whoever is behind it is going to jail, uh, not to you. Um, I feel like I shouldn't say no to a violent crime lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, this game's fucking hilarious. Um, just no unspeakable mangling in front of me, please. I'd like to commit my own horrific bodily harm, thanks! Oh, I never subcontract out that type of work, Inspector. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. <laughs> and do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. I mean, okay. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? Is there anything else I can ask him? Why does Ludovico hate you so much? Yeah, tell me the about that. The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Uh, and now he regrets doing business with you? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, assuming he could refuse it? Did you... Put a severed Raptodon head in his bed, oh my god. What? No. Law, <laughs> no. Why in the architect's name would you think that? What do you think? Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Okay. Uh, that can't be it. So you tricked him. Uh, how fine of a print are we talking? 
That's terrible, but also hilarious. Anyone who misses uh, a trap uh, that obvious isn't fit for management. It was all perfectly legal too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. I mean, that, but that can't, that can't be the only thing, right? Nurtur uh, nurturing your grudge is an ugly thing and you should make peace with him. Uh, you did steal what was rightfully his. I'm sure all the sniping you, uh, you do at each other helps. He's a fool for not uh, resting back control now. Uh, all right, I have other things to discuss with you. Oh, I'm not an innocent party here. Uh, please don't think I'm claiming to be. Provoking Lou may be fun, but I do have my reasons. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Uh, why do you care so much about what the board thinks? Part of the... Is the part where you cackle and reveal your evil grand plan? <laughs> oh, that does sound fun, though. Is securing a board seat for Sublight evil enough? Surely we can at least agree that it's grand. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less-than-legal business opportunities. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm around a lot, Obsidian, every day, in fact. <sighs> which, of course, you are. Murder, uh, murder had not uh, been one of those opportunities. But you admitted to me earlier you tortured a man for information? Not in front of witnesses, I didn't. Okay. Very well. You too, man. See ya. Uh, did you have any other dealings with Helen? And if you d uh, didn't kill her, any idea who would want her dead? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me. Do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? I mean, it seems like a lot of people had a lot of reasons to kill her. <laughs> a smart approach, Inspector. And yet, this murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Indeed, I suspect Helen arrived on Eridanos with grander plans than promoting Spectrum Brown. Okay. I knew I was right about you being clever, Inspector. I'm glad. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. Uh, did you have any other dealings with her? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? Yeah, some I also throw. arranged to have Helen supplied with mag picks, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. What did she... and that didn't strike you as suspicious? I would assume not, because he's used to doing illegal things. Because she paid me to, Inspector. Besides, Helen was enjoyable company. She was confident, resourceful, determined, not unlike you, now that I consider it. Thank you. I might. I just might. No, I know you're not. Your I'm point, you Inspector. I've already made it. Only that I'm on to you. It's not a good look for a murder suspect. You're getting away with less than you think. Now that is interesting. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes. Whatever shape it takes. One moment, if you please, Inspector. Sure. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? Take a guess. <laughs> uh, you wanna... Hmm. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? 
Nope, just gonna search your office. Like you said, I could. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing nice. pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. <laughs> you figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We had to talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Okay. Ominous threat transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Alright, how long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. So maybe a couple of days? The area within a 0 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. Uh, not very dusty, then it must have been placed fairly recently. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. <laughs> okay. No. All right, let's, uh, let's go in here. Anything back here? No. Can I take that? Nah, it's gonna make him mad. Nothing, nothing out here. Okay, well. So that is receiver location, the foreman. Let, let's check, are either of those technically optional? No. All right, so let's go talk to the foreman first. If I were the killer, I'd hide the body in one of those crates. No one would find it for years. Oh, it's inside, okay. Okay, so. Hi there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Thank you. Hey, you think they keep any spare parts down here? It looks like Just it. Just wondering. Looks like they keep a lot of spare parts down here. It also reminds me a lot of the prefab bases in Star Wars The Old Republic. You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever a couple. Had to shoot a suspect? Uh, a couple mysteries shooting a suspect? No. Um, I would have to take down a few perps. Yeah, <laughs> call uh, I call it closing a case. It's the best part of my job. <gasps> perps, just like a real inspector. Right. So the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? Uh, what's the culprit been stealing? Who has access to the cargo? Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Hmm. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automax that handle cargo. Uh, maybe there's a problem with the automax. Could he uh, have anything to do with it? Nah, Benton's too lazy for crime. The extra work would kill him. <laughs> oh my god, I Last feel Last time you. I asked him to check the automex, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. Thanks for the heads up. Is <laughs> he dead? <laughs> Hard to argue with that. Brain dead, maybe. But no, no. My point is that if you think the automex are a lead, you'll have to check on them yourself. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. Okay. That 
that's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers, so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the Spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? An idiot. Sounds like a perp's not uh, fencing stolen goods. Uh, the criminal mind is strange and unknowable. Low class scum who can't tell Spectrum Black from Nanner's Spec. Yeah, probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. Then there's the most recent theft. Five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Okay, uh, I see. See what you mean about not being a pattern. It's both. Both are sadder. <laughs> uh, maybe our perps deliberately low on ink, or desperately low on ink. So our perps desperately low on ink. Uh, all crime is sad. Well, I'm no inspector. If there is one, I'm sure you'll find it. It doesn't seem to be. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare key card made. It's all yours. Uh, anything? Uh, you're refreshingly well prepared. Anything I should know about? Oh no, I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. Nah, I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing though, if that helps any. Okay. Incoming. Pen soda. Yeah, just, just random shit. Yeah. Pens and. Oh, okay. Shipping yard and mess with the whole loading automax. Okay. Alright, so bunch punch, two box of pens, pellets of cacao milk. Oh pallets, pallets, misread that. Uh three hundred small portrait images of Why? <laughs> okay, that's that's strange. Alright, so what does the journal say? Alright, just go to the receiver. We go. There we go. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Not what I meant to press. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime covered. And it includes the who put it there? Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Mm-hmm. Okay. Investigate the sh mechanicals in the shipping yard. Timeline discrepancy. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger Define standard uh, defensive protocol. Identify the new trigger. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. 
Identify any triggers. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Okay. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. All right. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this auto mechanical assist you? Oh, what do you think, Pravati? You got it, Cap. Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. That's good. Ah, damn it. Ejecting data log 17C. Uh, view the most recently added data log. Looks like it has instructions to skim uh, a random cargo every f one to four days. Okay. Uh, there is no. Uh, there is also an instruction to steal a specific pa uh, package. Shipment sixty-eight seventy-five. Curious. Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Unit entering. Step. Okay. Let's go back to the, uh, never mind, we're going up to see Cedric. I thought we could go see what it was in the cargo manifest, but... I have no idea where I'm going. Why'd I come up here? Why'd I think this was a way back inside the building? That was dumb. Okay. I guess it kind of got me back where I need to go. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? Uh, you got a serious security problem. Don't get too excited. I don't know who the culprit is. What makes you say that? Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. Copra didn't want you to. It was a cover-up. A cover-up. I see. The random theft was a smokescreen to hide what the culprit really wanted. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. Then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Handle the receiver, I found this. Check your pocket. Okay, that's very impressive. Don't ever touch me again. <laughs> Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Yep. Sure was. Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Uh, I get it. She died before she could uh, deactivate the, me the mech she hacked. Uh, and she used it to research slug shipments instead. That or she never intended it to stop. Impossible to know now. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. Doubt it was personal. You helped her make money. For uh, slug, you mean. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Corporate sabotage. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. I mean, she's Helen dead. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Seems we found your motive, Cedric. Uh, dangerous talk for a man under investigation. Yes, I suppose we have. There is, however, a slight chronological incongruency to it. 
I now have a motive to kill Halcyon Helen, but Halcyon Helen is already dead. Which is true. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Uh, that's for me to decide, or maybe you did know, and, uh, this is all a show for my benefit. Oh, that is good, Inspector. Now you are thinking in the manner you must, if you intend to get to the bottom of this mess. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. Okay, so... Yep, let's go talk to the administrator. Okay, this is weird. This is. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Just, just do what I did before. Okay. Uh, nope. Come on. There we. Nope. Not the front entrance. Give me the penthouse. There we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Inspector. Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. I'm about to disappoint you. He's got an alibi. Uh, Cedric's a slippery guy. I didn't find much uh, to build a case. He's a criminal boss. Can't trust anything he says. Of course he's got an alibi. He runs Sublight Underground. He probably starts his day by preparing half a dozen alibis. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? It doesn't seem likely. Uh, Helen was making money for Cedric. I doubt he had a motive for killing her. He was torturing a guy at the same time as death. I don't see past that alibi. Uh, he's run... Mm. He runs sublight. He could have ordered her death without uh, bloodying his hands. These two are good, but I... No motive. That's disappointing, because it's exactly the conclusion he'd want us to make. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keen, but at least Cedric's alive. The universe is a just place. Okay. So what? what is that? Oh no. Inspector? I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector. Oh, oh, wait, you know, I kind of think he did it. For what reason, I don't know. But everyone else, everyone else, it doesn't make sense. They were either somewhere else or doing something else at the time of the murder. I beg your pardon. You think I killed Halcyon Helen? There's nothing to prove. I don't understand. Are you trying to make a mockery of justice, or are you really this incompetent? I expect you to deliver the name of Helen's killer. I expect we're done. Your service... Sound pretty defensive. Got something to hide? I'm defensive, Inspector, because I'm under attack. I am assaulted by your perfidious and baseless accusations. You're convinced I murdered Halcyon Helen. Fine. Show me some evidence. Pat your pocket. I knew you forgot something weighty. <laughs> it, it does seem like I've been given the runaround. 
Are you insane, or yes. do you take me for a fool? No, I'm not going to wait. You had your chance. Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Inspector, huh? I thought you said my services were no longer required. Uh, yeah, maybe you did. It, someone's trying to kill you? Well, shit. <laughs> uh, don't let me get in their way. Forget what I said. I'm renewing your contract as of this moment. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... Okay. So, guys, should we help him out or... Whoever the real killer is... I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him. Fast. I guess, if we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. All right. I got nothing going on. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take the wait-and-see approach? From the depths of Terra 2 to the heights of Eridanos, there's no mess that your SAM unit can't unstick Unplug or unsully. Whoever is attacking the distillation station is offering us a challenge. I say we accept. Okay. Well. Okay. That's it. Step back. Oh, right, right, right. Take a step back. Consider additional evidence. Wait. All right, so where is he? He's at the distillery, but where is that? A place that I haven't, what is that? What is that symbol? Huh. All right, let's, uh, Screw it. Let's just exit the hotel. We'll, we'll run from there. What? Shut up. Take me outside. There we go. Great. Is this what Cedric did to take out his frustrations? I haven't actually been over here. Have I? Oh, oh, maybe I took the other bridge though. Oh wait, yes, I have. zero explanation for them. Gosh, it's actually kind of cheerful. Almost makes you forget they're probably hiding a terrible secret in there. Oh, definitely. Dead. find ammo literally anywhere. Welcome, valued patrons, to our source of spectacular This is strangely too quiet. Wonderful products we provide. 
careful. These will give you retinal damage if you stare too long. Can't open this that door. Uh This is a dead end. Let me know if you don't want your sample. Can't let it go to waste. Yeah, we're not really here to drink on the job. So is there a... There's gotta be a way through some place. Oh, wait, this door was sealed. Oh, okay, that didn't help me. Huh, am I just screwed? Can I not... There's no ladder or anything. I don't think I can jump over the railing. Nope. Can't break that. Is there a way to... for that shit. Am I just stuck? There's no way I'm just stuck. I have to be missing something. Down there. Did I just come in the wrong door? Hey, what's this? I key? can take a hint. Well, that's not a key card. I need a hundred and five to hack that. <sighs> they reported a critical security breach. Someone is after him or or something he's protecting. Head to this and catch up with... How do I... I have to be missing something. I can't get any forward. Hold on, let me, let me, let me see. Okay, so maybe I went in the wrong door. They... Because from what I can tell, it seems like there's multiple doors in this place. Oh, 
Heels! Yeah, I went in the wrong door. Okay, sorry about that. Gonna talk to somebody? Oh, shit. Okay, I saw this coming a mile away. No, that's a fair question. <laughs> uh, could we take a step back and not blow up anything while I'm still in here? Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aperwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. Shit. That must have been her sister in the ballroom. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. A twin? <laughs> the only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Brenda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda the price. Fain shock administrator Ludovico a murderer? <laughs> Call me a murderer all you like, Inspector, but I'm no coward. I bloodied my hands to save this colony. I'd do it again. If it means defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host, a bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. I knew it would factor in at some point. I just didn't know how. These are not symbiotes. I've seen them infect how uh, the way they infect and behave. Uh, that doesn't sound too bad. No, that's it's terrible. Uh, and then rake in a tidy profit for yourself. Helen, you're right. Uh, you were right. He deserves to die. Wait, hear me out. I'm not the only one with blood on my hands. I tried to defend Halcyon's future. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. Uh, let's see, that was you in the labs. Uh, I know you killed the ranger mascot. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. Right. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. <laughs> Pretty sure he wasn't working for the administrator. Found him rummaging through your things. 
That doesn't surprise me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keene, that slack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. Why'd you kill the constable? She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. Okay. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. No, you're crazy. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. Uh, Helen, I'm with you. He's out of his mind. He's he's out of his mind. Uh, but once we get here, I expect my answers. It's a deal. Wow. I can't believe we're running with Halcyon on Helen. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. You're staying right where you are. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close. Okay. Head through that door. There's another way out. Can't get through that door. Sealed. I've opened that door. Oh, thank God. I took the long way. Must be some kind of pesticide of benign to humans. You're a step ahead of me, Inspector. Clearly a woman of many talents. An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at your penthouse. We'll ready our next move. Alright, uh, hold on. Got Not questions? here. In private, back at the penthouse. Also, I rather like the ambiance there. See you okay. soon, Inspector. Okay, how do I get out of here? Okay, so, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, I think when we get back, we're going to, uh, probably, I say probably because I don't know, but finish this DLC up. So I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.